Hi everyone. Welcome to Creative Stampin' Designs. How's everybody doing today? Sorry I missed you last week, but between my work and then right before I had a I was going to go live, my daughter texted me and told me that she was going to be getting off of work like very shortly after I was going to be starting. So I had to cancel for last week, but today's card is actually the same as what I was going to do last week. All right. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Amy. Thanks for joining. Hi, Akiko. Hi, Chi. How are you? Thanks for joining. All right. I'm using the Well Done stamp set for today. Um, and Jamie sent me a picture of a card. And it took me a little while to figure it out, and I found a pattern. And I'm, that's the one I'm making today. It's a tower card. So I did do a lot of the scoring and cutting ahead of time. Uh, only because I just didn't want to have the trimmer here having to do it. I'm starting with a piece that is five and a half by eight and a quarter. Okay. It's scored at one inch, two inch, three inch. Five and a quarter, six and a quarter, and seven and a quarter. Then I'll show you. Okay, I'll just show you on the trimmer what I did do. I put it in the tr in the trimmer and I set the edge at the one inch mark. Okay, and I don't know if you could see this or not, but I let's see if I can get the right lighting. I at the one inch mark I cut from the one inch line to the three inch line. Then I moved it over to the two inch and cut from the one inch line and the three inch line. On the top, same thing, but I cut from the five and a quarter inch line to the seven and a quarter inch line um, on both. And then I moved it over to the two inch and the five and a quarter to seven and a quarter. You could move it over, but I flipped it and did the same thing, lining this up at the one inch cutting from the one inch um, score line to the three inch and then the five and a quarter to the seven and a quarter and then the same thing moving it over to the two inch and the same thing. I will have the measurements on my blog creativestampingdesigns.com on Friday. Okay, so now we're going to give this a folder. fold here. The, the outside ones just get folded in um, and then this is where we get a little tricky because this one is a mountain fold then this is a valley fold this one's a mountain and this is a valley and that's the mountain and it just gets a little tricky just until you get it folded So, but I don't want to fold this one, and that's where I'm, there we go. Whoops. There we go. You just have to play with it a little bit to get it folded. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. This one is a mountain. There's a valley. The middle one is the mountain, the valley. This one went a lot easier. Oops, go this way, not forward. Hi, Shirley. Thanks for joining. Hi, Jillian. And there you have it. And it is, I believe it does measure five and a quarter. Or, I'm sorry, five and a half by four and a quarter. And when it stands up, there you go. so it's a lot, lot easier than it looks. All right, now to embellish the whole thing. Okay, 
I'm using um, the Whale of a Time Designer Series paper. I'm using all different patterns for it. I'm actually using a lot of... Um, a lot of scrap pieces for this. This is perfect for scrap pieces because you need like one, a, one and a seven... Oh, I'm sorry, seven eighths of an inch here, seven eighths of an inch there. So it's great if you have if they're going in the right direction. It's great for using up your scraps. And this paper will be retiring. So if this is paper you like, you're going to want to grab it. My daughter was very upset to hear that this paper was retiring because she likes this well anything with turtles. And surprisingly, this is not a card for her. I have one of my cashiers at the store. We were talking about it, and she said how much her daughter loves turtles. And I told her that I would take care of making the card, because she's asked me before to make cards. All right, so these two pieces were 7 eighths of an inch by 5 and 3 eighths. And then I have a piece for the top and the bottom here. And these two measure 7 eighths of an inch by 4 and an eighth. going to lay this flat. Just like that. just going to put a couple panels on the back. This is where the panel with the sentiment where um, you would sign the card. That's where it's going to go. It's on the back of the card. I'm just going to put, when I was playing around with this, it just, it looked a little too blank back here. So I just needed to add something. So I added another piece couple more pieces of the DSP just to give it something in the back because well for me this is the inside of the card so I always like decorating the inside I'm actually going to do the inside of the card I'm going to do this panel before I get started on the front and I have a piece of no, basic white sorry that measures two inches by five and a quarter and then I have a mat of pool party that is two and an eighth by five and three eighths. So on here, I am going to stamp the sentiment, hope, hope all your birthday fishes come true. And this, oh, here is, this is actually the palette of colors I'm using. Pretty Peacock, Pool Party, Calypso Coral, and Soft Suede. So the sentiment I'm doing in... Um, Pretty Peacock, which is one of the retiring colors. This is one I liked. This, and I like the Seaside Spray. Actually, I, I like most of them. Oh. That's... Okay, that's good. Hi, Rosie. If she stays awake. At night wondering what color <laughs> I have to be honest my nails are still done from last week from when I was going to do this card I did not do my nails this week at all you guys are too funny Put the pressure on me making me make it sure I have my nails done And I am going to stamp the little fish on here. I'm going to do those at Calypso Coral. But I'm going to stamp off. I'm going to stamp off just once. I keep pushing too hard into my ink.
don't when I get the sentiment straight I don't want to have to you stamp because I get a little oops right I got the fish and I'm just gonna put a little seahorse on here I was really happy that this set is carrying over has everybody had a chance to look at the retired list Do the seahorse at full strength, I think. And we're going to put him right about right there. So then that leaves her plenty of room that they can sign. Hi, Barbara. Thanks for jo joining today. Now you guys are putting the pressure on me that now I have to actually think when I do my nails if I have a color that I could do a card similar. It started out that it was always by accident. All right, I'm just going to adhere this to the pool party. Like that. Hear this to the back, and then we'll get be ready to do the front. Stick my arm in the way. I'm sorry. All right, we'll get that right in the center. Turn this over. Give it a rub here. That's the back. Now we're going to work on the front. All right. So I, I did a little, well, coloring and fussy cutting. My daughter was at PT this morning, and I'm texting her, what color are sea turtles? So now this is one thing I really wish there was a dye for, but I sat and I colored them and fussy cut three sea turtles. I did this one is in Just Jade, this is in Granny Apple Green, and this one is in Seaside Spray. I did a couple more, but I let her pick the colors that looked the most like sea turtles, I guess. I don't know. Her response was something that they're very turtly. I Okay, so I did pre-cut um, with the largest stitched shape dies, the largest square. This um, this will be, re the stitched, sti <laughs> stitched shaped squares will be retiring, which I was very sorry to see that. Um, especially after I finally got a full set and I can use them now. So I did pre-cut that and I'm doing... I am going to stamp in Versamark an octopus right in the middle because octopus or are, are oh it's right here are kind of clear as far at least usually they are. I'm just gonna put this. So we're gonna stamp him maybe a little off. And of course we can't see him because he's clear. And then I'm sprinkling just clear embossing powder on him. Let's see if I can get this right back in. I really need to put all my um, my embossing powder in different things. The embossing powder I believe is retiring also, but I think because they're coming back with something else I'm not I have to look at it again okay I'm going to be using the heat tool and there's two settings one is for drying and two is for heating or embossing sorry so it's going to get a little noisy here for a second I'm just going to grab my 
tweezers to hold this so I don't get burned. Not that that's ever happened before. I'm just going to set it. I don't know if you can see. It's very hard to cl uh, clear on white. Might be able to, I think I have the light just right. You can see it went from a, a powder to um, not a liquid. I don't know if you can see, see if I can get that in the light right. Mm, not sure if you can see it. Well, you'll be able to see it in a second. All right. I'm using my blending brush. They are on back order right now, but hopefully they'll be available soon. And I'm just going to use Pool Party. Just kind of make it the watercolor, but I want to get most of it off. I want I want some ink on, but not too much. And I'm just going over the whole thing. And then you will be able to see the octopus. So this, I guess, this is, well, with these brushes, the um, emboss resist technique. Like I said, I just wanted to add a little bit of color for the water. I'm going to dip in a tissue here. Just want to wipe over the octopus. And I don't know if you could see it now. There you go. I think you can. You can see that he's clear, but you can kind of see him. But there's blue all around him. All right, so then I'm going to stamp some, some little bit of seaweed. I'm going to stamp it off to the side. I mean, it's stamped on, but just hanging off a little bit. I had another one I'm going to put on the other side. a little bit of piece of coral on the bottom just to add a little extra color I'm having trouble closing my stamp pads today all right so I also pre-cut another panel of the uh, whale of a time DSP using the largest largest stitched square. Oh, I say that 10 times fast. And this piece is going to go right in the center there. I'm going to use some put my stamp and seal on it. I almost said snail. Oops. Make sure I get this as centered as I possibly can. And I have not looked at comments too much. Nice job. Oh, thanks, Kiko. I just looked up at a comment. I haven't been looking because I've been paying attention to my card. And this piece is going the wrong way. There we go. There we go. And then this one is just going to go right over the top. And I am going to use a little bit of... Actually, I can use snail on this one, too. Mm. 
This one's going to make me nervous. I'm actually, I'm going to use glue dots on this, I think. I'll put a little liquid glue in the middle and then I'll put glue dots only because I don't want it to go where it's not supposed to stick. So I'll just put a little liquid glue right in the middle. Oh, almost put that the wrong way. That would not have been good. Right, I'm lining this up. It's just here we go. It's easier, actually easier if I do it this way. So on either side and trying to get it centered the best I can. And then once I get it down, I'll just slip a couple glue dots underneath. Just to hold it. I just I was afraid if I put the stamp, the stamp and seal, or anything. I don't want it going in the wrong spot, and then everything will be stuck together. And just put them in the four corners. Okay. I'm just going to adhere my turtles with some um, dimensionals. And I'm just going to kind of, well, actually, yeah, I am. I'm going to have an argument with myself here. And they're just going to go over the top. And then I did, I have to just stamp the sentiment. So this one. dimension was too big for there. I guess I didn't get them right in half like I usually do. It's just the head over, so put one on the body. push them all down once I'm done. And this one the head is on. And I have this just yeah. I placed them there and then I couldn't remember how I not remembering how I put them. I think I'm just getting tired. Is everybody getting excited for the new catalog to come out? In the demonstrator, we get to pre-order tomorrow. I'm trying really hard to control myself. I really am. I don't know whether it's going to work, but... I'm trying not to order everything that we're allowed to. I know Amy likes to just order everything. It just makes it easier for her. And I'm going to just put him like that. All right, and then I'm just going to put the sentiment, if I can find where I put it. Have my love for you is bigger than the ocean. Stamp that. In pretty peacock. And let's see if I can get this straight. Oops, sorry, I'm pulling it closer to me. I want to make sure I get it straight. Not bad. All right, and 
just going to pop this up on dimensionals right there, like that. Make sure I have the right. And I got to see where it was going to yeah, let me go right about there. Whoops. came off, they were stuck to me, they were going on. This, actually I'm going to put it in a little bit or else when I put it in the envelope, yeah, it should be okay that little bit. So there, that's the card. Well, that's the card front. And then the back where you sign. You just get an envelope done real quick and we'll be finished. So I have another piece of the uh, Whale of a Time DSP. I'm just going to adhere that to the back of the envelope on the flap. Oops. It is ja very easy, Jamie. It really is. I mean, once you do, I like doing fun folds. And once you do one, they really go together a lot easier than it looks. They look a lot more complicated. Ah, there's glue there. I don't like using my, my good paper snips for if there's glue on something. Okay. I'm just going to stamp a couple, stamp the front a little bit. Put some seaweed. Put some fish. I'm not going to put the turtle on the front because I'm not going to sit here coloring it. There's this. my small seaweed piece. Put that over on this side. And put the coral and then we'll stamp a few fish. And we'll be done. Oh, that was not smart. Okay, Amy, you had green fingers the other day. I guess I'm going to have orange. Ooh. Stuck my hand right in that one. Okay. I am going to stamp stamp one more in the middle. It's going to be a different color, but just stamped off. So there you have it. Got my stamps out of the way. Nice little mess I made here. Now, how many of you have a real mess when you're done making a card? I have stamps all over the place and scissors. and So there you have it tower fold card. It's a lot easier to do than it looks. I mean, it, the hardest part, as you saw, was the folding and getting the, um, the mountain and valley folds going the way you want them to. But once you do, once you get them folded and burnished, and they're good to go. That's the front. And there's the back. And that's the view from the top. Okay, thanks for joining everyone. 
I am planning to be here next Wednesday at 4 o'clock again. And I hope you'll give this card a try. And if so, just post a picture on my um, on face on my Facebook page under this um, either under the video or under when I post my card on Friday. All the measurements and directions, the best that I can type them up, will be on my blog on Friday, which is creativestampingdesigns.com. And I, I don't know if I have a template, if I can put a template up, I'll try, but I'm not sure if I have one because I was playing around with the measurements. Um, but I will have everything exactly the way you have to cut it. All right. Thank you everyone for joining. I hope to see you next Friday or I'm sorry, next Wednesday. Have a great week, everyone, and hope you all have a very happy Easter if you celebrate Easter. Thanks. Bye-bye.